This issue is kind of blowing up on forums. People are they're coming out and saying this is basically just utterly ridiculous. And I'm talking EV fans and internal combustion fans. Both of them are saying the same thing. Stellantis's recent patent. It's patented the idea of having EVs that vibrate to mimic having a combustion engine. Yeah. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. This system, if introduced, will feature on the Charger Daytona. So the electric muscle car coming from Dodge, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. But I think this system is just a complete waste of time, money, and just the brains, whoever put this thing together. I mean, yeah, anyway. Performance EVs are seriously very fast. They're quicker from zero to 60 miles an hour, zero to 100 kilometers an hour than internal combustion. It's just simply a fact. There's nothing you can do about that. And one of the reasons is because um, of the simplicity of EVs. There's fewer moving parts. They require less work, maintenance, etc. And realistically, I mean, electric motors are just insanely powerful. If you really wanted to, I mean, you could take four Tesla plaid motors and just have the most insanely powerful car. It's actually not that difficult to do if you think about it. However, Dodge is saying, you know what? That's true. Tesla's right. Uh, the future of muscle cars is electric. Even Dodge's CEO said that himself. He said that this, we've reached the limits of internal combustion engine performance. The future is clearly electric for muscle cars and anything else. But if you're an engineer at Dodge, chances are you think that there's something missing from a muscle car EV. It needs soul, it needs passion, whatever. A patent filed from Stellantis last year, late 2023, shows a new active sound enhancement system. So that's pretty normal. There's quite a few automakers offering this feature, you know, having uh, sound. So you can turn on the button and make your car sound like whatever you want. You can make it sound like a Ford with a flat plane crank V8. You can make it sound like a Ferrari, whatever you want. It's, in my opinion, pretty ridiculous, but that's what you can do. And a lot of automakers are doing that. So that's not really either here nor there. But the patent that is exclusive to Stellantis is an active vibration system enhancement. This aims to bring back some of the um, the rumble, the, the feeling of having an engine rocking your car. I've actually never really liked that idea. I actually do really like the sound of V8 engines. Uh, there's some cars out there, some older muscle cars that I think sound just absolutely amazing. But I don't like the idea of having my car rock from an engine. I mean, I don't like engines at all these days, but I just think this whole concept of getting your car to vibrate from the weight of the engine is just mental anyway. It's like poor engineering, right? Anyway, the patent filed with the World Intellectual Property Organization specifically cites muscle cars, making it a safe bet that one of the intended applications is Dodge muscle cars, any muscle cars that the company makes, but in particular, the Dodge Charger Daytona, which is going to come out apparently by the end of this year. Dodge has showcased its new chambered, it's called a Fratazonic chambered exhaust that aims to generate artificial exhaust notes for the Charger Daytona. The ASC AVE system would take the experience a level further. You're not just hearing the noise, you're getting the vibration feels in the car. It's like fake upon fake, in my opinion. The AVE aims to recreate the vibrations felt that would normally be experienced with an internal combustion vehicle, of course. And I'm going to guess that they're going to try and replicate what it would feel like to have a V8 engine. The only problem with this idea is some cars vibrate more than others, but most new cars with a V8 engine don't vibrate at all. They, if they do, it's maybe because of aftermarket modifications. Anyway, this patent states that these vibrations could be introduced in a number of ways. One option would be to use a force generator to vibrate the chassis or the body of the vehicle with various sensors sending info on driving parameters. It could also include sensations being sent to key touch points in the car. Maybe the steering wheel, the driver's seat, like having a vibrating driver's seat, a vibrating steering wheel. Anyway, it's sort of like having a simulation game. It's like a PlayStation game where you can turn on the vibration or turn it off. I personally don't use, I love Gran Turismo, but I've never used the vibrations in the controllers. I think it's just completely pointless. Just like this. ASC. It's also completely pointless. In fact, would you really want your car to be vibrating? I mean, is that going to make it last longer? 
Probably not. Shaking your car, if anything, could shake some wires loose. That's what I think anyway. Guys, what do you think of this innovation? I mean, obviously, Dodge have invested money into this, in, into making the paint, into making this actual thing, into making their cars vibrate. The only company in the world that I know of that is planning on doing this is not some supercar company, but, um, but Dodge. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching.